Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Let's use colors to get familiar with variables in computer science. You will program your bot to complete different actions based on the color it senses. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, a blank piece of paper, a pencil, a blue marker, and the Ozoblockly editor. Today we'll be working in level three. In today's lesson, you will define a variable as it applies to computer science, build a block-based code using variables and conditionals to program your bot to complete different actions, and demonstrate how variables are used to change the actions of your bot. A variable is something that can be changed. In computer science, a variable is a value that can change depending on a condition or information passed to a program. A variable is given a name and a value. These values can be numbers, text, pictures, colors, dates, or amounts of money. Variables are often used to store input and output values. Input means the information or instructions sent to your bot. Output means the actions of your bot after the information has been processed. Let's get started. There was a rainstorm last night and Ozobot wants to go outside and play in the puddles along the sidewalk. It needs your help to identify where the puddles are. You will draw a pathway for your bot to move along with blue parts to show the puddles. First, you will use your pencil to draw the outline of your pathway. I'll be using black markers so that you can see. Make sure the pathway is wide enough for your bot to fit inside. Here is the outline of my pathway. Then you will use blue marker to add colored parts along the pathway. Use your chisel tipped marker to measure the section so they are the right size. Make three vertical lines or lines running up and down next to each other using the entire edge of the marker to make each puddle. One, two, three. Remember to leave parts of the pathway white. You should have an AB pattern along the pathway. Blue, white. I added puddles to my pathway using blue marker. I drew three vertical blue lines next to one another to make each puddle the correct size. Here's my completed pathway with four blue puddles along it. Can you draw and color the pathway your bot will move along? Remember to make the pathway wide enough for your bot to fit in it and to make all the blue puddles the same size. Let's begin building the program with the color blue as a variable. Open up Ozoblockly and click on level 3. Then go to logic in the block panel. Click the if surface color is red, do else block and drag it into your workspace. Next, click on the red square inside the block and select the color blue. Then go to light effects in the block panel. Click and drag the set light color to block onto the workspace into the conditional block after the word do. Click on all five red squares and change them to the color blue. Now go to movement. Click and drag a spin left block below the set light color to block. Finally, go back to movement and click and drag a move forward distance one step medium block below the spin left block. Can you use code to program the variable blue? You will not test your program yet since it is incomplete. Time to complete the conditional in the program. 
If the conditional is true and the bot senses the color blue, then it will turn its lights blue, spin left, and move forward one step. But what if the condition is false and the bot does not sense the color blue? If the bot does not sense the color blue, it will turn its lights off and move forward two steps. Go to light effects in the block panel. Click and drag a turn front lights off block into the conditional after the word else. Next, go to movement. Click and drag a move forward distance one step medium block below the turn front lights off block. Then click the drop down menu and change the number of steps from one to two. Finally, you may remember from a previous lesson, in order for a conditional to continuously be checked, you need a forever loop. Otherwise, when you run the program, the bot will quickly check if it senses the color blue and nothing will happen. You will go to loops and click on a repeat forever do block. Drag the block above the if surface color is blue do block to wrap the loop around the entire sequence. Can you use code to complete the conditional and add a forever loop to your program? You are ready to run your program to watch Ozobot play in the blue puddles. Let's watch my bot in action. I am going to place my bot on one end of the pathway and click Run Program. I see the sequence of actions my bot performs based on the variable or color it senses on the pathway. When my bot senses the color blue, its lights turn blue, it spins, and it moves forward one step. Can you run your program to see your bot play in the blue puddles? The fun isn't over yet. The program you created uses color as a variable or a value that can change. You will now change the color in your program for your bot to complete a different sequence of actions. First, click on the blue square in the if surface color is block and change it to white. Then click on the five blue boxes in the set light color to block and change them to white. Can you change the colors in your program from blue to white? After you've changed all of the color boxes to white, you will run the program again. Your bot will now complete a different sequence of actions as it moves along the path. Your bot should get excited before it jumps in each puddle and move quicker through each puddle as it moves two steps instead of one. Can you run your program to see your bot complete a new sequence following the variable or color it senses? Let's check your work. Does your program have a conditional block? Does the conditional block have a color or variable? Is the conditional statement complete? Does your program have a forever loop? Does your bot follow the color in your program to demonstrate different sequences in action? If you're looking for more to do, you can add the Say Color block from the Sounds category to program your bot to say the color it senses on the pathway aloud. Or you can use blocks from the Movement and Light Effects categories to change the actions inside the conditional or create another pathway using two different colors and a different pattern. Then program your bot to complete different actions based on the color it senses. Come back again soon for our next lesson.